Hi family, welcome to Intimate Conversations with Francis O'Brien, healing one heart at a time. I always find a way to muddle that up somehow and I do apologize. But how are you doing? It's Boxing Day for us. Um, I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you're doing great and fantastic. Those birds are just beautiful outside. So I have changed my lighting. I hope you guys um, appreciate it. I hope it's a whole lot better. Uh, it's been difficult to try and get the, the perfect setting so I hope this works for you and for me and I had to take off my glasses because I realized that the reflection of the ring light on my glasses is just blinding it is not on so I had to take them off and I hope that I will cruise easily through this video <laughs> without my glasses because I'm quite dependent on them but anyway, like I said, I hope you guys had a fantastic day yesterday for Christmas and I hope you spent time with loved ones and family. If you were alone and I realized, actually I saw a lot of videos that people had posted for people that might be alone, for people that um, um, either by choice or, you know, they found themselves not being around, surrounded by family and friends and maybe they were sad or maybe they were going through a difficult time. It's just to encourage you that God is with you during this time and that you are not alone. There's many other people at this time, that, especially around the world, that are, you know, um, spending Christmas alone and look at it, look at it in a positive light. Um, try to draw inspiration from it. Try to draw strength from it. This is a time to meditate. This is a time to plan. It's not the time to be depressed and miserable, which is what birthed this video. So this video um, is titled your life is not a joke. Now, this video, um, the Holy Spirit put it in my heart over a month ago, I'm sure. And I thought it was just a message for me. You know, I thought it was just a message to, you know, just to encourage me, etc., etc. But then, you know, as time went on and I realized, you know, the Holy Spirit kept repeating, your life is not a joke, your life is not a joke. And I kept on thinking, okay, is this for me or is it for somebody else? And then yesterday, one of the um, YouTubers who is a pastor, I follow him avidly. Um, if you'd like to follow him, ladies, I recommend that you follow this man. His name is R.C. Blakes, Pastor R.C. Blakes. He's an amazing, amazing servant of God, excuse me, who really opens your eyes and, you know, brings you to a realization of, a tr of your true self. So I recommend that you go over and view his channel. So he actually talked about what I'm going to talk about today, which is going to be a brief video. And he was talking about how to make sure that, you know, you don't waste the opportunities that come your way. I said, okay, Holy Spirit, this is a confirmation because I was wondering whether or not I should release this. You know, and this is like I said, almost a month ago and I was having a conversation with my mom and I thought, hmm, is this something you should talk about? Is this something I shouldn't talk about? Then I said, you know what? I'm going to come out today and release this video because I know somebody is going to want to hear this somewhere out in the world. So let's get into it. I'm not going to have pointers. I'm just going to free, I'm going to wing it, um, which is a bit <laughs> difficult because my safety blanket is my notebook, which I don't have. But anyway, let's get into this video. Your life is not a joke. Many of us have found ourselves, you know, in situations that we either created or we stumbled into or we were put in. And either we were wanting this or we didn't want this. Now, this video to say your life is not a joke is just meant to remind you about the things that are very important to you. Nobody can come into your life and tell you what is important to you. And I say that with, you know, take that with a grain of salt because obviously you've got people around you that God uses. It could be pastors, it could be family, it could be whoever. But you are the, the driver of your life. You have an architect, you, you have your creator who is God. He's got the blueprint of your life. And then you are the driver. But you always have to touch base with your creator and ask him, what am I supposed to do? What do I need to do? Now, as I said earlier, we find ourselves in situations that we can't control. This message is for that particular individual and it goes for male and female, men and women. In the new year, if there's anything that I would like you to be cognizant about, each and every time you interact with the person, your life is not a joke. 
Every time you do something, tell yourself your life is not a joke. There are people that the devil sends into your life to deter you from your life path, to deter you from your destiny, to deter you from your assignment, whether it's a ministerial assignment or whether it's a mission that God has put you on this earth, which is also a form of a ministerial assignment. All of us have got a purpose. All of us have got a mission. Some people's missions are global. Some people's missions are societal. Some people's missions are just within the family. I think we also as humans or as people, we need to get this notion that for me to make an impact, my name has to boom out into, you know, the world for everybody to, to know. No, it doesn't work like that. Your impact can just be in the family. Your impact can be in the society, in the community, in the country, in the continent, and in the world at large. So every one of us has got a mission. Every one of us has got something that God has given us that is meant to be used to assist God's people and also yourself when you begin to take this seriously. So, oh, I needed to make sure that my dress is fine. So I'm sorry, I had to look down. So, um, you know, when I flash back on my life and I looked at the people that have come in and those are people that are either friends, people that I have dated, um, you know, colleagues, whatever the case is, it, you know, moving forward, it has made me more alert and more aware of the people that come into my life, people that I allow into my space. And I said, as I mentioned earlier on, that the devil does not rest. We know this, that he moves around like a roaring lion, waiting for whom to devour. And it doesn't matter. It gets the better of us. Whether you're a PhD or you are you know, you've got a primary school education, it does not matter. The devil does not rest, especially when he sees that there is something that God has put in you that is going to impact either your neighbor, impact your friend, impact your office, impact your, your community, impact whoever. Now, these people, as I mentioned, are meant to deter you from your life plan, your life destiny, from your vision, from whatever it is that you have planned for your life. You need to be aware Henceforth, moving forward, you need to be aware who you put, who you allow into your circles, who you want to be in your life and what they benefit and what, and what benefit they have to you. It is important. It is important. If there's anything you should get from this video, it's just the title itself. My life is not a joke. My life is not a joke. You know, um, guys come into your lives, women, and they mess around with you, you know, they, they, they take you for a ride, they string you along, they give you all these pretty stories, pretty empty, useless stories. And before you know it, weeks, months, years of your life are stuck with an individual who's taking you absolutely nowhere. And the reason why they take you absolutely no is because you haven't realized your value. You haven't realized how important you are. You haven't realized your self-worth. You have your own assignments and your own missions. And this is something that I've also had to talk to myself about when I said, my life is not a joke. I actually sat down one day and I said, you know what, my life is not a joke. Like, it's not a joke. I have come here to do something, even if it's just for um, self-pleasure in terms of making myself happy, in terms of finding myself, in terms of encouraging others. My life is not a joke. So when people come into your space and they, they, they mess around with you, they mess up your time, they mess up your finances, they mess up your career, your life is not a joke. If there's anything I could also say in addition to this is try to treat everybody, put every, try to put everybody rather at arm's length. So in essence, what I'm saying is even if it's family or friends, because family sometimes can also deter you from your dreams and your visions and your passion. And you need to be cognizant of this. You need to be aware of this. Sorry, I'm glancing down because I'm actually making sure that I don't, I don't miss my timing. So you need to be aware of everybody that is in your life, everybody that comes into your life and everybody that exits. How you will know that your life is not a joke is when people have exited your life or sometimes even when you're in it and there's a tragedy or something has happened and you ask yourself, did this person help me? Did this person laugh at me? Did this person mock me? Did this person encourage me? Did this person motivate me? Did this person help me? Did this person lift me up? Did this person bring me down? Did this person oppress? It, it's different things. But every time you wake up, you tell yourself, my life is not a joke. Today, I'm going to focus on my health. Today, I'm going to focus on my job. Today, I'm going to focus on my, um, 
I'm going to add one more image or whatever, one more sentence to my vision board. Today I'm going to visit one more place or next week I'm going to take myself out to wherever. And you make sure that you do this for yourself because your life is not a joke. I repeat, your life is not a joke. There are things that you need to be busy doing. There are places where you need to be going. There are people that you need to see. And so with all these people that you need to see and all these things that you need to do, you have an assignment. You must be busy doing something. You must be, it, and it must be self-improvement. It cannot be, if, if, I remember I posted something on my, uh, my Facebook wall and it was, it's, it's a post that I saw somewhere else. I'm going to paraphrase it. And it says, God cannot do, you cannot do, you cannot do for others what God has not done through you. So what he does through you is what you do for others because he is the best teacher. As I said, he is the architect. He is the master planner. He is the, um, he has the blueprint, blueprint rather of your life. So when you are going through these personal challenges, and I will testify because I am going through that myself and I am seeing the transformation and I'm seeing the changes and there's a lot of things that I wasn't aware of and there's people that I entertained that I shouldn't have entertained. There's people, there are people that have come into my life and taken advantage of me, taken advantage of my, either of whatever skills God has blessed me with, taken advantage of my kindness, taken advantage of my silence, taken advantage of perhaps, um, I can't say I'm timid, I'm not a timid person, but I tend to overlook things. And then when it gets, when I can see a person's taking advantage and then I explode. But I have realized it's not a good thing also for you to wait to get to that point where you begin to explode. No, if you see it once and you see it twice, you put it to order. However you decide to put it to order, it's either you put the person in their place or you distance yourself from that person and say, you know what, this, is, this relationship, it's not going to work with this particular individual. And that's it. It doesn't have to be a bitter, um, what you call this separation between you and the family member, you and the friend, you and the colleague, you and your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it is. Because here I'm not going to be talking about that, you know, that kind of separation with your partner. Unless if it's a toxic kind of relationship, then that's a different story. But that's not what I'm discussing today. So you have got things that you need to be concentrating on in your life. And this is where the season of singleness comes in. And I think this is another thing that also birthed this video because I've been watching and reading a lot of extensive material as to how important it is to find yourself, how important it is to be single. And that's another topic for another day, which I'm going to expantiate on because it also touches on how to be single even though you are married which is a very powerful point. But today I'm still on the topic of your life is not a joke. Every time you, you get into a bed and you, you're intimate with a person, you have to make sure that that person, even if that person is not aware, but you are telling yourself, you know what, my life is not a joke. I'm not doing this for, for, for nothing. Having these casual relationships with people and giving yourself you know, to somebody intimately, those are also soul ties that you're creating for yourself. And those are difficult to undo and it takes a process to undo and to get somebody out of your system. So this is where when you, when you are done, you ask yourself, what am I doing? Where is this taking me? Does this person take me seriously? Why is this person, what is this person's importance in my life? Where have I placed this individual in my life? And this goes across the board, like I said, it goes family, friendships. Yes, family, we can't choose, but you know what? You can distance. That, 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 is, that is something that is, you can distance. And then, you know, there's the, the colleagues, there's people that you date. I mean, you know, that you're in relationships with. From henceforth, getting into 2021, this is something that you should always tell yourself. My life is not a joke. I am here to have, I'm here for an assignment. Even if you haven't found what the assignment is, né? you're still finding yourself, you're still forming friendships, you're falling, you're picking yourself up, you're stumbling, you're falling, you know, you're picking yourself up. It is all part of the process. But in that falling and finding yourself, always have it at the back of your mind, my life is not a joke. People have got these, you know, when I flashed back and I said, you know, some people really, né? they use you as a stepping stone. And 
you know, it's a dog eat dog world, unfortunately. But you know, when you're a Christian, it's not the way you should be operating. It really isn't. It's rather for you, it's rather it's better for you to rather form genuine relationships, genuine friendships with people, but not to be a friend to somebody because it's something that you want to gain from that person. No, it's better to not be that person's friend, but rather be the, the person's acquaintance and stay close to the person and you can learn whatever it is. But don't start going the extra mile. Oh, let me do this for you. Let me do this for you. Ultimately, just because you want to milk whatever it is you want to milk from that person. It's not a nice thing to do. It's not a godly character. Be genuine in your actions. Be genuine in your relationships. Be genuine. It doesn't cost you anything. You know, man. Those birds and I was talking to a friend yesterday and I said every time I switch on the camera that bird <laughs> it's like it waits for me to talk now and this is the part where I'm trying to be quiet so that it squawks away <laughs> but anyway I think I have driven my point home as much as I can as much as I can 2021 should be a year where you spend time reflecting on your life. Reflect on your life. It doesn't cost anything. Some people are so scared of that moment of silence where, you know, um, where they know that there's a voice in their head and it's a voice of reason and they don't want to listen to that reason. They still want to carry on with being, a, you know, mischievous, being a miscreant, being a rebel, a vagabond whatever it is at the end of the day the time you take delaying is your time it's nobody else's time when you don't focus on things that are important to you you're wasting your time you're not wasting the other person's time this is what i'm referring to in this message when i said your life is not a joke it is not a joke i can't emphasize this enough because that's how much the holy spirit kept on hammering it in my spirit your life is not a joke because i was also doing things that were kind of um, contrary to my growth, they were, uh, they were kind of, they were contrary to my growth. And every time the Holy Spirit would wake me up in the morning, your life is not a joke. Again, you know, I, I would kind of be casual about it and continue with my day. Before you know it, he says it again, your life is not a joke. Then I began to realize that, okay, this is something not only for me, but if I'm doing this, that means people out there are also doing the same thing. And we're not perfect. And you know what, man? It, there's no age where you can catch an epiphany. Anything happens to people at any time in their lives. Somebody can listen to me now and grasp it. Sometime, somebody may listen to me five, six, seven times before it like has that aha moment to say, oh, by the way, this is what Francis was talking about. It, it you know, like it says, faith comes by hearing. And... You know, man, that was just weird. Yeah, that was just weird. Uh, sorry about that. It's just these really distracting sounds. So as I was saying, you have to hear things over and over and over again. If you're some of us, like some of us who can be slow when it comes to hearing certain messages, when it comes to driving across a point, driving, driving across a point, driving a point across. <laughs> can I tell you, man? I have to talk about these birds. These birds were quiet before I started recording. The moment I put this camera on, I tell you these birds have decided to congregate outside and have a screaming, squawking match. Heavenly Father, I do not allow anything to interrupt this message in Jesus' mighty name, those birds. <laughs> anyway, um, so as I was saying, I hope this message encourages you. I hope this message opens your eyes. I hope this message um, you know, brings a, some form of enlightenment to you to take your life seriously. And when I say take your life seriously, family, I'm not saying you must walk around growling like a bear in a forest. No. All I'm saying is live your life, enjoy your life, but just be cognizant of the people that are in your circle. Family, friends, colleagues, relationships. Just be cognizant of who is in your space. Be wary of who is in your space. What is that person doing to you, for you? What is that person doing with you? Is the person encouraging you, boosting you, growing you, advising you? And you know, there's many things. But if you if you sit down, if this is a video that also makes you sit down and you're in a relationship and he thinks and you think this person's taking me for a ride, 
I'm the one who always does one, two, three for this person. And when I, you know, I've spoken to this person about it. That's if you have. I've spoken to this person about it. They haven't done anything about it. They haven't changed. Or they claim they're going to change. But I don't see the change. Time is money. These are your years passing. This is your life. Whether, it's, like I said, whether it's a week, a month, a year. It is a year, a week, a month of your time. So if you don't take your life seriously, you can't expect the other person to take your life seriously for you. Come on, guys, this is where the singleness comes in. You are an individual. Even if you were born as twins, it's one one. You all came at different times, so you are an individual. You need to focus on your life. You need to make sure that you are doing what you need to do to be the best version of yourself. And that is the best thing I could possibly tell you, that your life is not a joke. And you know what? I'm going to leave it here. And I hope you encourage family, stay blessed, be blessed, until I see you on the next episode of Intimate Conversations with Francis O'Brien, healing one heart at a time. Be blessed, stay blessed, always.